Welcome to Smoking with Porridge. I like smack that shit ball. And my thing is, when you in a club with me, expect your shit to be ball. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, buddy. <laughs> Okay, hi guys. Today, today we are going to be doing a story time about Asia turning 22. Oh my god, it was so exciting. Um, I don't even know where we want to start, but I think it will be funnest to start with Monica telling us what her idea originally was. I came up with, it was supposed to be a Jordan Things birthday party. So we originally had playing a barbecue, it was going to be yellow, purple, and yeah. white to wear jersey, shorts, sneakers, long socks. It was just supposed to be Jordan thing. Yeah. Tiger? No. Okay. Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> Let me correct that. Thank Kobe. Kobe thing. In purple in the house. In purple. It was so cute. What did we eat that day? Barbecue. Barbecue. Who was on the grill? Was it Niara? It was Niara. Why you it? It was kind of good. We had baked beans. We had chicken. Uh, I think we had potato salad. Um, it was really, really cute. It was like hell of a vibe. We had a balloon streamer thing. And it was literally just supposed to be us standing in the house. Now, we have this annoying friend, DJ. And he was just so persistent. Like, we, we finna sit in the house? Well, we not finna go nowhere? We need to go somewhere. Right, like, we, we not going nowhere. And uh, we like... Shit, we're yeah. chilling. Right, we didn't, wait, nobody planned nothing. This was the event right here. So he was like, "Now nah, we should go to um, this like little hookah spot." And yeah, she gonna flame up the blood. I'm sorry, y'all. I get to talking chat, and I forgot what the fuck we here for. We here for the session. Come on. Hell no, cha cha cha. Oh, from a exciting regular birthday civilized. to. <laughs> Civilized, I love that she's bringing it up. Civilized. This is our friend, DJ. Like, he always forcefully, like, I don't want to sit in the house because he don't smoke like us, so he don't be on okay. chill mode. Mind so, y'all, we have been taking shots before we left out, y'all. Mm. We thought we was going to stay in the house. We thought we was going to chill. So we like, ain't nobody driving. In the mind you, the hookah spot about seven minutes, eight minutes away from my crib. But we like, we don't, we already lit lit, so nobody can drive, and pretty much gang is out, so it's a lot of us. It's about Six. Six, of, six of us, six, six of us. Six so of it's us. like an Uber is needed. So we, as soon as we about to get an Uber, don't DJ say he don't have his ID? Who I who had the yeah, flex so ID situation? He said he didn't have his ID and he needed my ID. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool, because you know I got two IDs. But I'm like, cool, we got it. Boom. Asia, second ID trick is a blessing to our life. You gotta yeah. have two IDs. She. She I didn't even know DJ. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's how we fucking mentioned going out, y'all, and that's what we have to remind you. Cause none of us wanted to go out, even the birthday girl did not want to go out. Um, he don't have his ID. And Wait, my... I feel like it was a plan for us to go out. No, it wasn't. Or did we make plans and then cancel? Cause I feel like we nope. planned. No, we were sitting in the house. We was, in the house. We was, I remember we was all standing by the uh, kitchen thing in your house, and we was like, "So where we finna go? Where we finna go?" We kept asking like, "What we finna do?" Right, I didn't. I didn't think we would go out. In the original plans, y'all, it was not planned for us to go out. We yep, just I'm like, I'm trying in <laughs> and drink, smoke, chill, whatever, because we're all next to each other. So, but when we got there, it turned into okay, where are we going? Yeah, that part. Right, and that's normally when DJ arrives because DJ does not smoke again, so he wants to go somewhere. So. His ass like, oh, I don't got my ID. Mind you, he like, oh, now he finna use a female ID at the door. And I didn't think that shit was gonna work, but so what I did, I just went in. I just mind my business. I, I don't want to think about it, because I'm, I'm already scared. Lit. I'm you already lit. Scared, lit. Yeah, I'm already drunk. I'm just, this is they like, ain't got time for none of that fucking shit. Let me go through first. How many shots did we end up taking, y'all? We took like about five shots. I don't know, but uh, we got videos in the Hennessy bottle was halfway done. But then we were drinking the night before, so I don't know. Yeah, okay, us. Um. So once we get in there, um, what happened first? So we okay, first we lady, did not find a section. We didn't have one. Right. You was trying to find one, and the lady was trying to dip you out. The yes, y'all. That's she was trying to finesse him. She was trying to finesse him. That's why I'm trying to say, y'all. It's such a crazy night. So. It was my best for her birthday, so I'm like, okay, we finna get a section. So I go up to the girl and I'm like, tell me, tell me the vibes, tell me what the price is, tell me what's what, 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 what. And she tried to tell some old skyrocket price, and not that I didn't mind paying it because it was my best friend's birthday, but the point was, what's the jig? Tell right, me full right. list, and then I'll decide how my bank is rolling out tonight. So I went and asked somebody else just because I didn't feel like I didn't like her vibe, I didn't feel her energy. So I asked somebody else, and somebody else had told me like and what the jig was. Again. And I'm like, damn, this bitch and trying to get over on me. So my whole attitude went stank, and I'm drunk. So it's like, oh, oh, more ooh. Drinking. oh, oh that was that was drinking. that's at the tone. 
That's at the tone, but a bitch was already lit. And it was my birthday, so, so I'm lit lit. And it took us time to go. Because it was too much drinking at that point. Literally, literally it, we it had dumped drink it got wild. on the floor. Oh everybody was up, like, literally dancing oh the whole nine. Like, everybody's personalities came he up wasted that night, drink. Oh, and supposedly, I, like, patted somebody pussy or something. Get like, slapped the fuck. And more drinking. Shout out to Vivi. Right. Out of her pussy. No cap. <laughs> that bitch was stinking, no cap. <laughs> she said that. She kept saying I always smacked her shit bought. And my thing is, when you in a club with me, expect your shit to be bought. <laughs> oh, and that's just. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, buddy. <laughs> Respect. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, what? It's like, it's, it's definitely after like two. I'm like, it's after two because it closed at three, right? So we left right before the next one. We get, I call an Uber. We walking out. As we walking out. He lit as fuck. He grabbed her hair. <laughs> that y'all relax me the fuck on the ass, y'all. That shit stung, no cap. And at this point, y'all, I can't even talk no more because yeah, 20 minutes ago, I already am gone. I'm dead now to the world. I'm And so then, like, they was doing something. I had a lit little moment as we supposed to be leaving. Then I walked back because the lady said something about the hookah. So I go pay, but I don't tell nobody nothing. I just walk off because she she look at me. So I'm like, okay, cool, what's up? So then I go pay, and then we get to talking because I wanted to ask her what her problem was. Like, what was the? Why did you try to jit me? Because I'm such a cool person and I love everybody. So especially when I'm lit, it's like, oh, I want to be happy. So since you, you know what I mean? Like, what's up, mom? And then she just said, like, you know, that's her job and that's what she got to do. And you know, she's just trying to make her bread. So it's just, it's what it is, but it's like, baby, don't make your bread off me. Yeah, not, <laughs> You're not right. gonna make your bread off me. You're not gonna finesse me. So that was it, and then I ran off to the Uber, and, and then here's where things get even more interesting, because I don't remember none of this. We get in the you Uber. You missed the part. Oh. As we was walking out, you got it. Didn't you get into it with the security guard? Nope, this is at another club at a different time. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> uh, nope, that was that mix. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> no, yeah, so we, we, no, that's what it was. He was, we couldn't find him. Yo, the Uber was, was gonna leave. So it's like, okay, we gotta go get him. He walk out, finally. When we get in the Uber, Me, already, gotta, gotta, first off, the Uber starts, you gotta get on this side, you gotta get on that side, the whole nine. So everybody is climbing in. I think Niari had a cup of ice with him, y'all. Yep. So he was finishing off a drink, he had a cup of ice. Yeah. Who was I in was the in the middle, you were in the back, Mimi was in the back, and Maui's in the DJ back. DJ was in the back. You, you, and I were in the middle seat. Next to the driver. So we going, y'all. We going, we going. Mind y'all. <laughs> Mind y'all. We already tea like fuck, no cap. <laughs> so we in the car, and, and it's like a little, a bug. I'm going to just call it a bug car, because I don't even know what it was. But bug it was like. Uh, it was a truck. No, was a DJ was truck. sitting in the middle, because you were sitting, he only no. had. Two in the back. He was basically sitting on Malik's oh, lap. Oh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. I ain't, I don't because remember the Because that's how the color nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it was stuck in that bitch. Though. I know that. That's it was because DJ had hopped in last, so he had hopped in on this side, <coughs> and all of us are schools and all four of us. So we drive. So you around. know, due to COVID, you only supposed to have like four people in that bitch. Right. We didn't. We drunk, and there's six of us stuffing in the back of this bitch, and not caring because we all drunk. <laughs> that part. So, so Niyari was right behind the driver. Like he was literally right behind the driver's seat, so he had his cup of ice, and he kept like, edge, like he's drunk, so he kept wasting it, and apparently he wasted it on the driver's lap. Like okay, falling in between the seats. And yeah, everything. like it was just everywhere. So the driver got mad. Uh, no, but what? But mind you, gotta tell me this because this is the most like craziest part. This is all happening as we're driving into our apartment because we live in the same complex. So this is all happening. So this is not happening. Right. Like, I can't <laughs> this is not happening on the way. This is happening as we're pulling into our complex. So mind you, now we get our shit. Right. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> so we. So he like eventually gets like angry or something right because he like, niari was wasting it already in the middle but like, <coughs> i guess he didn't say nothing but he wasted a piece on his lap i'm guessing and he he got upset and mimi mimi was like it's just ice yep. like it's just water and now, I, she thought it was on the seat, the floor now we are parked in front of the Oh. Yep, no, he don't go in the gate. He just park us in front of our lot. And now I remember all of us bailing out of the like the car, truck van or something. And I remember Mimi saying, like whatever. And then I said, so what's up? Or like, what are we gonna do? Or okay. like, 
Go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so y'all, we had got right into our gate, literally right into our gate. We was making that turn before we make the last turn right here. Oh, okay. So we was getting ready to get out the car, and I'm guessing the driver was saying something about him spilling the drink, but he sounded like he had sort of an attitude. So Malik go like, who was you talking to? And he goes, no, who are you talking to? Like, you're in my car. And he goes, I'm I'm Malik fucking so-and-so. I don't tell y'all his last name, but I'm Malik fucking so-and-so. And if you want the pressure, you can have it. You want all the smoke, you had to smoke. You're not going to talk to me <laughs> yeah. like that. Basically, that's going on. DJ hop out. Niari hop out. You hop out. At this point, I'm still in the car. Mimi's still in the car. And she's still in the car. So, you hop out on this side going towards the driver's side. You standing over here <laughs> talking to, and I think you were in front of the car. You were. With your I arms remember open everything except when get I down. said something. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing the headlights, but I don't remember what I said. Yeah, basically you were seeing up like, like, <laughs> no, we, we gonna fight with no yeah. cat. Like, come on, bring your ass. What are we doing? So the driver is hopping out, y'all. At this point, the driver is getting ready to hop out. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody's like, grab him, grab him, grab him. Mimi hop out, she go to grab him. Ace hop out, she stand over here by me, making sure we got our shit. Mind y'all, we thinking everybody has their stuff at this point. Everybody does not have their stuff. So we start walking off. DJ, Mimi, me, and Ace, we start walking off. <coughs> and Malik and the Aubrey, they right behind us. So then Malik realizes he doesn't have his phone. It was your phone or your phone they didn't have? We didn't Both. have neither one of them. Okay, then, right, they didn't have either phone. <coughs> So we calling and calling and calling and calling. At this point, the guy say that he not turning around because he gonna have to whoop somebody's ass. So he's not turning around for the phone. Somebody left their phone in the car and come to find out the other person left their phone at the club. <laughs> so me, <laughs> so I left my phone. Remember when I told y'all I made up with the bartender lady? I left my phone sitting on the counter that night and I had just darted my ass back to the car like all happily, my dumb drunk ass. Um, and so here you go, what, it got even crazier. So like once we actually like, I, we went back to their house and I think we got more drunk and then just like killed yeah. me. Yeah. I would sleep really because I was blue that I didn't have my phone. So I'm like, I'm finna go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> so he left and then I was like over the balcony. Um, it was just a wild night. It was definitely a wild night. And then we tried to track him down to get our phone the next day. So we calling him and calling him. And he telling us, like, meet him somewhere, far ass place. He talking yeah. about a 59-minute, like, fucking place. I'm like, no, man. Like, you dropped, you Ubered us over all of this area. Like, why are you all the way over there? Like, Uber back in this area. And then when you are in this area, let me get my phone. And he like, no, nah, I'm in this place. So we drive. And on the first day, we actually go all the way to the place, even when my car all fucked up, and it makes it. So I'm like, okay, cool, my car can handle it. So we sitting there in the parking lot. We th we find this man's job, y'all. Like, we even go inside the facility. Like, no, okay. no, no, no. The first day, okay. we do all of it. We meet up when we finna meet a quick trip. Malik phone die. Yeah. I still didn't get it. Mind you, when my phone died, we had a car charger. So my phone is plugged into the car charger as it dies, because my car charger is that motherfucking shitty. Shout out to every tra car charger that actually works. But, so then, by the time it charges, he gone already. So then it's the next day. Then we go and stalk his job at the same place. And still like, didn't get it. Still didn't get it. Next day, no hope. And then on the fourth day, it's like something that miraculously we meet him at his job again. And it didn't even seem like he worked that day. He was with his wife. And he like wanted to give a lesson or some shit. And I'm, whole, like, speech. And I'm, I'm like, motherfucker, uh, if you don't get this. He thought it was Malik's phone. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, if you don't get this motherfucking phone. Respect <laughs> What's wrong with you? The worst like five days of my life. But we did get the phone back, and I did go to the hookah bar that next day and get my phone back immediately. And it was so nice and so sweet. Your phone was fucked up though, wasn't it? No, but that was from a different day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, moral of the story: don't drink. No, moral story, drink more. Um, <laughs> and all right, next story time, we're going to talk about Mebe's right. birthday, which. Birthdays are something about us and going out. We have the craziest fucking time. But when I tell y'all we had all this crazy shit happen, when I tell y'all we had the funnest <laughs> fucking time, and um, when y'all see these videos, y'all gonna really be like gagged because we literally was like living. It was like, uh, every music was hitting. Every music. I think I even seen some, I don't even know. I think I seen somebody in a different section, and like I was all talking to them all up in their face and shit. Like I was literally yeah, just talking. literally jumped over the section. You we be lit, basically. You go out, we get lit. It was like, if you go out, you gotta go out. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching our story time of Ace's birthday. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and um, make sure y'all watch our last video of our coming out story. And make sure y'all stay tuned for our next video. Thank y'all so much.